Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. With the coronavirus outbreak, it's been all hands on deck with updates coming every single hour. So with that being said, Project Sunrise is the ambition to fly non-stop from the likes of Sydney to New York and Sydney to London. Qantas CEO Alan Joyce calls it the final frontier in aviation, and if you had a penny for every time I've said that, you'd likely be able to afford your own 777X. March was set to be a crucial month for the Australian carrier in regards to the project. Late last year, if you were unaware, the airline announced that it had selected the A350-1000 as its preferred aircraft for operating these ultra-long-haul services over the Boeing 777X. However, with that, caming up firming these new jets and specifying the delivery slots to Airbus, something that's crucial to the eventual operations of the said jet within the airline. However, following the outbreak of the coronavirus, the airline is, as we know, making some big changes to operations and plans. Including in the, included in this, and not what I covered in my other video covering Qantas, is the de is delaying the purchase officially of the A350-1000s. Airbus and Qantas had already agreed to push back the deadline for finalising the A350-1000 plans. That delay had been extended to the end of March. However, now the airline has said that it would prefer to be waiting for a period of time which is yet undecided and unpredictable to ensure they can finalize their a350 1000 order when the coronavirus comes to a screeching halt or at the very least calms down enough for the industry to return to almost normal that's really at an unknown stage as we know Qantas has already granted their a380s all the way through to September that's the entire seasonal period or summer season if you will for the United States and Europe now, the Australian airline had originally signed on for 12 A350-1000s, which would fly these 18 to 20-hour flights around the world, alongside the Boeing 787s, as we know, already flying the likes of Perth to London on a daily basis. The order at list price value was worth some US $4.4 billion. However, there's absolutely no doubt that the airline did indeed receive a good discount. Alan Joyce said... That was based on the fact that slots were potentially valuable and could be sold to other airlines. We think in the current environment, that may not be the case. Nobody seems to be ordering aircraft. We would rather wait for the coronavirus issue to be out of the way before we put a firm order in for the Airbus A350. However, he did also reiterate the following as in regards to an immediate response from Airbus. We haven't heard back from Airbus yet, but we're hopeful we can try and get an extension. Project Sunrise is still awaiting the final go-ahead, which was actually meant this month as well. However, that'll now not necessarily be rejected, but will likely be postponed, alongside the firming up and official announcement of the order for 12 of the Airbus A350-1000s, as the airline grounds 8 of its Airbus A380s and announces major changes to its overall network. What are your thoughts on the decision? Drop your thoughts either over on my Twitter or in the comment section below. Until then, the stock standard, do stay safe, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>